It's pretty much been exactly five years since I've lived in Taiwan, and I found myself asking, why? But before I say anything, <laughs> just look at it. Would you look at that? <laughs> yeah, well. Would you look at that? One big reason I continue to live here in Taiwan is how easy it is to get around and how much fun you can have doing it. As you can clearly see here, because me and Kiwi are currently on our trip around the island on our scooters, we ended up in Kanding in the southern part of Taiwan and now we are making our way through the beautiful mountains to the even more beautiful coast to Taidong where we came and saw, well, pretty much one thing. They use this whole building just for fish. Then we almost made it to Hualien. I say almost because, well, we we're making good uh, time on the way to Hualien. What happened? I have no idea. A boom. And then, like, I've lost all uh, drive to the wheel. So. Yeah. Engine starts and the engine seems okay. We decided to leave the. <laughs> we decided to leave the poor thing here. So we'll come figure this out tomorrow. The next day. Is your bike fixed yet? It took a very uh, fast ride in there. Pickup truck which had the engine power about 600 cc's. Sweet, nice old chap. And we're now waiting for the bike to be fixed. It was the drive belt that just itself into two pieces. Uh, but it should be all done and dusted. We'll see how much it costs in a little bit. But hopefully, we'll have some wheels in. 10, 15 minutes. I think this is also another big reason why I live here. It's just sort of ease of access to labor. It's pretty cheap. We got a scooter fix for next to nothing and it really wasn't that big of a hassle. Your bike rejoins us, all fixed up. I was right, the CVT belt broke because I'm a genius. Anyways, we're gonna go check out the beach. Yes, we are. Let's go. <laughs> Kitty jumped on my scoot. Oh, never mind. Now it's on a motorcycle. <laughs> Alright guys, so um what we're doing now, we've looked around a bit, we've tried to find a place to do a barbecue because it is the day of barbecue in Taiwan. We bought some charcoals at a PX Mart. We've uh, got some cheap stuff you can get like a tray to grill in for 75 NT. This is 40, some fire starters, bowls. Bob's your uncle, really. Now we're gonna go get some meat. Yes, for whatever reason, Kiwi and I decided to have another really sad barbecue, which is not one of the reasons I like to live in Taiwan as much fun as it is. <laughs> is it frozen? Is it frozen? <laughs> <laughs> do you defrost it? No, no, no. But stick around because I'm gonna tell you the major reason why I live in Taiwan and probably the major reason most foreigners give as to why they live in Taiwan. So we found this side of the road area to have our barbecue. That's the train tracks. It's a very, very strange place to have a barbecue, but we don't have any friends, so. Here's our barbecue set up on the floor and the train. Okay, we're actually changing locations because we saw a dog down that alleyway and dogs, wild dogs in Taiwan are not to be f***ed with, especially when you're carrying out a bunch of raw meat. So we're gonna go find somewhere else to have our little... Alright, we have a new location on the side of the street. <laughs> we're just having a little barbie. <laughs> oh, this is stupid and very sad. It's like we're homeless. Yeah. So what's this? All right guys, welcome. This is the Kiwi Kitchen on a scooter. When you're in a bit of, bit of trouble and you need a barbecue and it's the 9th of September uh, in Taiwan. <laughs> we've just lit a fire on the street. <laughs> well, we've got our beef, Australian. Uh, we've got some local marinated drums and some pork, some squid, salt, and uh, coming. Here's our sauce and corn. We are just pointing out how sad this tray of burning coals is on the street. <laughs> This is probably really illegal. Appetizer. We have hao a little bit of kimchi. Yeah, thirty-five dollars for a little jar of that. Mm -hmm. mm. Good kimchi. Just like a restaurant. How are these street barbecues really taking shape? So we had an issue. We had a grate, and it was like too flat because the 
the pan we've got that's too shallow yeah so you've devised a genius plan there you go oh yeah shall we start with some chicken let's see if we get a sizzle so he's gonna put his chicken on and if it gets a sizzle we know we're hot <laughs> silence this is the saddest thing i've ever seen in my life <laughs> So we've been at this for about two hours, maybe more, and it wouldn't light. So I went to the store and bought all these chopsticks and threw them on the fire to hopefully get something going because this is ridiculous. Chicken on there first because that's the first thing that's going to go bad. And I did get a sizzle, so I'm hoping these will cook nicely. We finished cooking everything, finally, after hours of sitting here. Oh, and I man. think the fruits of our labor shall include this burnt chicken, which <laughs> I think should be cooked. I'm going to have a look. Mm hmm Yeah, that's white. That's good. I'm cooked. Yes. Cheers. Omelet du lait. If you're gonna do a street barbecue, maybe invest in a better barbecue. Let a tray. Well, <laughs> it was really late at night. Well, we did it. <laughs> so I think I'm done with sad barbecues. My whole life has been sad barbecues the last few weekends and stuff like that isn't really gonna be acceptable in Taiwan. It was Moon Festival, so everyone was doing barbecues on that day. It was, it was a lot of fun, it was just really stupid. The biggest reason why I continue to live here, and I think this is the big, a big reason that like most foreigners will give you, if you ask them, most of them will say it's just ease of life. It's just easier to live here. Um, I think most people in the West have definitely felt the pain of the rising cost of living in recent years with the amount of inflation that's going on. Taiwan's felt it too, but not nearly to the same extent. Um, and also, you know, back in Canada, I was a kindergarten teacher. I had a salary, but it wasn't a very good one. I had a car, but you know, I couldn't afford to leave my parents' house. It was kind of pathetic. Um, I wouldn't say I was a loser back home. I just so happened to choose a profession that didn't pay very well. More spending power. Um, I wouldn't say that life is better in Taiwan. I'm not saying that the quality of living is higher. It's not. Um, it's definitely made me realize how lucky I was to grow up in a place like Canada. Um, where it was very, very clean and very, very big and very, very green and all of those things. Um, so as much as I, I appreciate living in Canada, it's just easier for me to live here. Um, and, and you can mark that down as a positive or a negative, depending on who you are. Maybe I sound quite lazy. I don't know. That's just the biggest reason I live here. It's just, it's just nice. So I want to know what you guys think. Are you a foreigner in Taiwan? Why do you continue to live here? Are you Taiwanese? Where would you go? Are you someone who's living outside of Taiwan that wants to come here? Let me know why in the comments down below. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. I work hard on these videos. Uh, follow me on Instagram at prazi underscore sr. And if you really want to know more, you can check out me and Alan's podcast over on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Enjoy your week and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.